An excellent choice for a place like that, or just about any of your low light spots, would be a Dracaena Janet Craig. And this is the Dracaena Janet Craig right here. And this too is the Dracaena Janet Craig. Now sometimes people ask me, they say, well, this plant's name is Janet, so does that mean that it's a female plant? Well, no, it doesn't. Actually, there are some plants which are male and female, but the Dracaenas aren't one of those. So if you want to, you can call your plant Janet, or you can call it Harold, or Irving, or you can just refer to it as your plant. That's fine. Whatever you want to do, it won't mind at all. And if you ever hybridize a plant, which actually the Dracaena is, this particular Dracaena Janet Craig is a hybrid of another Dracaena. And if you ever hybridize a plant, you can name it whatever you want. I really don't like to say how often you should water your plants because there's so many factors that can affect that. Even the change of seasons when they're getting more or less light or when you turn on air conditioning or turn on the heat, all those things can affect how often it needs water. But I can tell you how much water to water it and I can tell you how you'll know that it does need water. And in the case of the Janet Craig right here, what you want to do is feel in the soil about an inch and a half down. And when it's dry, that far down, then water it with about a pint of water. And with the 8-inch Dracaena, you want to feel down almost 2 inches. Make sure it's dry almost that far down before you go ahead and water it with about a quart of water. And that'll do it. There are a few things you can do for your Dracaena, Janet Craig, to keep it looking really good. And one of the most important things, I think, is to keep it dusted. It does have really nice, shiny, deep green leaves, and they tend to show dust pretty easily. So when you're dusting the rest of your house, then just go ahead and dust your Janet Craig, too. It'll really appreciate it. And I personally prefer to use a feather duster, although that's not absolutely necessary. Now, if after you've dusted it, it's still looking kind of gray, and it doesn't have that old shine that it used to, you can go to your nursery or garden center and get a good commercial plant cleaner. And what you do with that is just spray it on the leaves, just like this and then get a paper towel or a soft rag and just wipe it off and you'll see the old shine come back almost right away. And if you don't want to do that, if you don't feel like going to the garden center or the nursery to get a plant cleaner, you could always use ivory soap and water. But you have to remember to rinse it off when you're done. But your plant will look great. And also, don't forget to fertilize it that's a wonderful thing to do for all your plants.